Welcome back to Mountain Connections. We're getting started with our first local business today. And as a cheese lover, let me tell you, I'm, I'm so excited for this next interview. We have Park City Creamery here and Corinne Zinn. She's the CEO and founder of Park City Creamery. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you so very much for joining us here on Mountain Connections. Really appreciate it. Let's talk a little bit about Park City Creamery and your background. What got you interested in starting a, a local cheese making company? So I started to make cheese 15 years ago and uh, I'm really, I really love cheese. I'm, I was in Colorado when I started um, in the wine region over there. There was all those wineries around, but nobody was making cheese. And coming from Europe, I was missing my cheese. So you're like, how can we have wine without the right, cheese, right? Uh, yeah, totally. And so I, I started to source local milk and uh, make a little bit of cheese just for myself. And then I brought it to the wineries, uh, particularly one uh, French uh, wineries there in the North Fork. Um, and uh, they get crazy about it. They love that they, they start to uh, pair wine with the cheese, and uh, and that's how I started. So tell me a little bit about your cheese making method. You are from Belgium, is that correct? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And as you said, cheese is so prevalent in Europe, you can't go uh, a block without missing it. Um, tell me a little bit about how your uh, background and, and your early childhood influenced um, how you make cheese and, and your methodology. So uh, my family is coming from south of Belgium, so the farmer uh, corner okay. side, uh, Pays de Herve, that's how it's called. And so I spent a lot of time with cousins in farms and uh, milking the cows, and I was running uh, in the stable where they were milking the cows, and my cousin was spraying me and <laughs> they were milking. And, uh, so yeah, that was a good time. They were not making cheese, though, but I mean, um, but you were around the environment, yes, though. Yes, totally, yeah. So what inspired you? Was it really just the lack of not having the cheese that you were so used to, to having growing up? Yeah, I used to organize a lot of wine and cheese uh, pairing uh, in Brussels for my friends. And there is so many stores in every corner of every street. You can really find many kinds of yeah. different. And when I moved in the U.S. 15 years ago, I... Uh, I couldn't find that, so yeah, that's how I started. So tell me a little bit about Park City Creamery. You guys source all of your ingredients locally. Why is that so important to you? Because we have a very specific terroir here that's pretty unique with the mountains, the altitude, the grass. Um, that really brings, makes a big difference in the cheese. And I think this is something that people, uh, especially Americans, who obviously there's a lot of us who love cheese, but I don't think we grew up around a lot of artisan cheese or locally crafted cheese, something that's really, really cared for, uh, maybe a, 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 a recipe that's been handed down for generations, uh, that even the environment and the vegetation that the, that the cow is eating has a huge, huge factor on how this cheese is going to taste and the profile and all totally. those things. Yeah, absolutely. So you take that all into consideration when you're sourcing your, your milk and all of the, the those things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as you see in France, the, in every town, every little village make a different type of cheese from the region. Mm. And that's a little missing here. We have we have all the ingredients. To, to, was the only part that was missing is the know-how. We have everything we need. We yeah. just needed someone who had the expertise to make to the come connection. Make the yeah. Well, yeah. that's fantastic. Let's uh, let's talk a little bit about your cheese. What kind of varieties do you offer, and and what's kind of the fan favorite? So I make a cow milk cheese. It, it's a brie. A it's brie cheese. Oh, my favorite. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> I forgot to mention every cheese is named by a Park City ski slope. Oh, okay. So this brie is named Treasure. Treasure. From Love it. Treasure. Because it is a treasure. I'm going to tell yes, you right now. Is. If you've never had brie cheese before it's amazing <laughs> and then I have a uh, hidden treasure hidden treasure which is a brie with black truffles oh wow so that's really nice in scrambled wow. eggs melted in st on steak or burgers I cannot that's even imagine for those really people nice. who love truffle oil that's probably gonna be uh, <laughs> their yeah. favorite right there for sure then we have a goat milk cheese this one's very special it's a goat with milk cheese made, um, it's rubbed with vegetable ash, okay. which is a very old recipe in France. They use uh, the ash before the refrigeration to preserve the cheese. And what kind of flavor profile does this have? I know goat cheese is a little bit different. For those who haven't never tried goat cheese before, mm -hmm. it's got a different flavor profile, but it's very, very good. What, what does the ash do to the flavor? So the ash really had a, re a chemical reaction to the cheese and really makes a difference, makes it creamy and very mm. smooth. It's not very powerful or goaty uh, okay. like you can expect. It, it's very, very agreeable. Very, very tame. Very, yeah. Okay. 
And uh, so the ash comes from um, the vine leaves in France. They I see. When they do the harvest, the grape harvest, they burn the vine leaves and make a very fine soot and, and wrap the cheese with it. Reuse everything, which I love. That's, yeah. so, that's so great. Everything has a purpose and can be used in, yeah. in this process. So in this little guy has, is a, a donut shape. You can't see it with the labels, but there is a hole there okay. in the middle. So it's very pretty on the cheese board. And with the little hole in the middle, I make those little nuggets. So this is <laughs> that's okay. this is Silver Queen, and this is nuggets. The Silver Queen nuggets. That's yeah. from the exact same goat cheese. There. Where can people find uh, Park City Creamery cheese? So it's at the market, the down store in town, and also Element Kitchen. Uh, it's at River Horse Provision Store on Main Street, and uh, Montage serve it um, on uh, three different uh, place in their menu and uh, um, firewood Excellent. on plenty, Main Street. Plenty of places to try Park City Creamy. Corinne, thank you so very much for thank bringing you. your expertise and making some artisan cheese here in Park City. I am definitely thankful for it. I'm sure there's plenty of people who are thankful for it as well. Head over to their website and check them out at parkcitycreamery.com. You can find a whole list of locations where you can buy Park City Creamy, and I promise you're going to want to try this amazing local cheese. We'll be right back with much more right here on Mountain Connections.